How pleased were you by the impact of Ings, Watkins and Wendy and how much you seem to cause Burnley problems? Well, I think you've seen it last week against Norwich with Ings and Watkins. You know, they get us the both goals. They looked really dangerous as a pair. Um, a lot of people on the outside don't believe in it. I certainly do. And uh, we gave Emmy Buendia an opportunity today and I thought he was fantastic, really creative. Um, you know, his, his assist for, for the first goal was outstanding, exactly what we've been working on. And then he gets himself uh, in the box where we want him, on the penalty spot, to, to tap on the second. So, um, yeah, the front three were outstanding today, but we can't forget the, the effort, the commitment, the desire and the quality from everyone else because um, to a man today we were all top. We're going into these last two weeks of the season now. It's, it's the three games and everything it, everything's there for us, what we need to do. So stick together. Just said to the group in there then, I said it before, Watford, if I could pick a group to go into this, what we're doing now, and I said this before, Watford, it'd be them. And that hasn't changed. Yeah, this one th this one was billed as a big one because of the home fixture and you've now yeah. got two away games. Yeah. And that final day home game against Newcastle. Uh, just how well equipped are this squad of players to, to rise to that challenge, do you think? I think you've seen in the last few weeks that, that to rise this challenge. You know, it, has, it hasn't been easy, but they've responded really well. And I'm sure they will again. I think they've got that character about them. They're going to be disappointed. You can't take that disappointment away, like I said, in five or ten minutes. It takes a little bit of time. But then the professional people, professional lads, that how do we, how do we go about it now? What's the next thing we need to do? Yeah, the first defeat in interim charge of Burnley for Mike Jackson. They had real momentum before today. They just couldn't follow it up in that one with the home advantage. No, obviously it's, got, it's always going to be difficult against uh, a good Aston Villa team with good players. Um, and you see the Aston Villa's front three, um, you know, the way they play today. Um, I'm a big fan of, of Ings and Watkins, to be honest. You know, two players that obviously got on the score sheet. I can imagine Steven Gerrard would have put a lot of pressure on those players, you know, um, in terms of goals and assists, you know, the forward players, can you make a difference? Can you be the ones that, you know, get the goals and, and win us games? Um, and they've certainly done that today. But from a Burnley point of view, I think they've done really well, to be honest. They've done well since the, the manager's taken over um, from when, where they were. Um, and, it's, and, and again, it's all about characters and, and application. And are you willing to fight for the badge, um, sticking together, working hard and, and, and getting out of this situation that they're in? And they've, and they've done well. But they've lost a little bit of momentum. Can they pick that up straight away, Burnley? Yeah, especially as looking at the fixture list, they'll see a home game against a team that are in the bottom half. They would have thought they could get at least a point out of the game, um, but they were outclassed today. I thought Aston Villa were, were very good. But they can still pick that momentum up again. We've seen how many times the chips have been down for Burnley over the years. They've always managed to survive. You know, different circumstances this season without their mainstay manager, but they've done well without him so far. And, uh, and again, this is another area of the league table that's going to go down to the wire.